What's up guys, welcome back to this series all about life scaling in Black Desert Online. My name is Teddy, and I hope your week has been amazing. With the prices of fish increased, it's time to take a fishing trip out to Megoria and trade them to Valencia to see how much we can make. If you've been waiting to see how much active fishing can make you out in Megoria since the prices have been increased, and more bluefish can be turned in, get those triple float rods ready, and get on those boats, let's head to Megoria to start active fishing up millions. Today I'm out here in Velia to start showing you how I fish in the great ocean and just how much it can make you. But why should you choose Megoria instead of Velia Beach or the Tooth Fairy Cabin? Megoria has to be one of the best places to fish in Black Desert. Being out here sports the shortest bite time, allowing you to quickly keep catching fish than those fishing in the exhausted or barely any areas. Megoria also has the highest drop rate of ancient relics. Finally, the main reason why I like coming out here, there's 14 yellow grade fish alone out here with each area of the ocean having different red grade fish that are worth 3 mil to 10 mil each. And there are a couple downsides which will put most off. Firstly, this requires a boat which can be costly. The time needed to sail out here. Lastly, the money and time needed to get the most from fishing out in Megoria can be extremely high for newer players or if you just don't have the money. Now unlike regular fishing, the best way to do this is to load up your ship with some trade cargo. Sail it out to Port Rat to trade, use a triple float rod to fish the rest of your inventory up before returning back to the mainland and travel to Valencia to trade. I went ahead and picked up the weekly fishing quest from Liana for the added experience, and because the Heidel Ball event is still going on, I went ahead and took the best fisher buff just to make sure I can fish as quickly as possible and have an added chance at better fish. But now that you know what makes Megoria fishing worth the time and effort preparing for, here is my fishing mastery and let's get this started. Normally, I wouldn't suggest AFK fishing with just how long it takes the fish to bite and reel in, but with the new Creos fishing chair, the auto fishing time is further reduced. Using my nibbles fishing will make sure I won't be out here too long while trying to fill my inventory. For those who like underwater gathering, heading out to Megoria has a lot of coral if you're looking for those coral crystals or a certain color coral for processing. I'll have to come out here to do some coral gathering to see if I can finally find one of those crystals, but it's just another reason why Megoria is a nice place to come life skill. Luckily, I at least have the improved Vifaria sailboat. Having a faster boat to come out here that has the breezy sails reduces the time need to sail out here. For those who are like me and don't have a Karak yet, I'll be making a guide just to show you how to make the Vifaria Caravel for those who haven't made one. Coming out here is perfect for getting the relics for the memory fragments. Going through hundreds of fragments on repairing all my enhancing fails has left me with barely any and my relics are looking kinda low. I've tried to leave as much of my inventory in the storage as I could so I have more space to fish. With having all the inventory slots for fishing, and with how many inventory expansions they give out for free, my wizard might be the next one I'll be growing his inventory. Using the new Creo Sturdy Fishing Chair really helps out with the speed of auto fishing, though the next time I get enough triple rods, I'll come out here and just fish using them, not relying on the auto fishing to see just how much more I can make on the yellow grade fish. One of these days, I'm gonna have to learn how to harpoon. I heard about a ghost well, and I would love to get a chance of getting 50 mil. It'd be interesting to see how much one of these could make trading in Valencia. A couple years ago, I did try and didn't really get a good fish, so I stopped bothering harpooning. While I'm out here watching the water, comment down below if you come out here to fish or if you just stick to the mainland to do all your fishing. With the prices of fish increased, I'm curious what a whole inventory full of fish delivered to Valencia will make. Be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying the life scaling content here on the channel. It helps more than you know and with all of that out of the way, let's get back to the Megoria fishing trip. If I'm lucky, I can get some red grade fish which can make some good money in Valencia but knowing my luck, I won't even find one. Hopefully it'll be when I'm using my triple rod just to see if I can get more than one at a time. Normally when I'm AFK fishing I'm using a Bellinos rod and I'm not at the keyboard so I can't watch. With all of my inventory starting to hit the halfway mark, it's time to switch rods, rebuff, and continue fishing. When it comes to active fishing, I suck at it so if you see me fail the minigame it's normal. And because I have extra green Creo chairs that don't have the auto fish time decrease, it's perfect for using and not wasting the blue grade. I only want to use those when I'm AFK fishing. With all the bottles I'm getting, I plan to dump them all into the contribution points. I might choose another alt to level their fishing and still get the contribution points, but since I already have Guru fishing on my main, I really don't care for the XP. 
If I did more active fishing, I would have chosen to make either the whaling or sharp-eyed seagull lightstone combinations, but since I do more AFK fishing, nibbles is a lot better for me. Not like I need the fishing experience combination with having guru fishing already. I've made sure to do the fish for villager quest to get me the three triple float rods. I already had one from the last time I came out to Waves Rest trying to fish up the otter and papu tokens, but the durability leaves more to be desired. At least I will have some extra attempts at trying to make millions, right? When my maple lore breaks, I'm gonna switch to the ash lore and keep fishing. They're both plus 10 and branded so I can keep using them longer and get more bonuses while doing so. I wish they made another lore that would give another bonus or something. It would add a nice variety to fishing like with the rods we already have. Luckily with the higher mastery and all the fishing bonuses I already have, I tend to get more yellow grade and rare drops so I won't be coming home with a bag full of greens and bottles. Speaking of mastery, I'm curious if Pearl Abyss will update the fishing mastery or if it's not going to be as useful. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a higher mastery and I'm going to hate leveling another alts fishing. I'll wait until I have better gear ready before I start just to make more money back in the process. When my rod breaks, I'll replace it with another one and just keep going. I just have to keep fishing until I have one slot left and start riding out to Valencia. Having a celestial horse calling horn will help with not needing to find my horse or travel to it. Maybe if I can get lucky, I can get Dine and speed up the whole desert trading part. To make sure I can make as much as I can, I've been sending all the relics and keys to the central market so I have more room for the fish. I might make an episode one day on just getting the relics to sell, but for now it's all about getting the fish needed and making more money in Valencia. Fishing can be relaxing sometimes, but knowing the fish have a time until the value starts to drop, it gets me a little antsy waiting to see my bag get full. If the rods weren't almost 10 mil each and not enough on the central market to pre-order any time in a reasonable time frame, using a Balanos rod first and a triple rod will have to do. Now with my inventory starting to fill completely up, it's time to sail back to Velia and start heading to Valencia. Heading back to Valia, I'm just gonna head to the Sand Bazaar, get my camel, and start heading out. I still haven't gotten Dine to speed up traveling through the desert, but because I need the desert trading buff, a camel will have to do. I'm not gonna bore you with all the running there, so here in the bazaar, I have a brown camel ready to do all my desert trading needs. I've made sure to grab it gear and enhance it to decrease the travel time in the desert. Also, to reduce the desert debuff while I'm riding, I have my desert camo, a resistance pet, a fairy with auto drink skill so I don't get slowed down having to choose water or the anise tea. And now with everything ready and a good amount of water and tea in my bag, it's time to head out. Because I was heading out to the Great Ocean and I don't have a better compass, I made sure to buy the blue grade one that will last a couple days, making it easier to get through the desert so I won't end up in Fogans thinking I'm about to start trading in my fish. But with getting to the Pilgrim Sanctum sharing, I spend the energy to get the desert trading buff and jump back on my camel. Heading up north will take me right into Valencia near the trade manager I need. If I was wanting the seals, I would have just chosen to trade the fish in Velia, but for the distance, it should make a good amount. I made sure to only keep the money I've made from trading in my goods at Port Rat, so I can show you just how much I'll make doing this. Before I trade the fish in, I will throw on my trader's clothes to give me more experience, and when I choose to play the bargain game, it will ensure I have more energy to keep trying. Time will be a factor and just how long it took for me to get here, but because I had no faster way to get from the Great Ocean, I'll take the reduced amount and I'll try working on getting a dine ready for the next time. Selling everything with the distance bonus and the trade buff helps. With the bargain game done, here's the total amount I was able to make for trading all the fish in Valencia. As you can see, it can make a good amount of money depending on how long it takes you to get the fish and trade them in. With being on the water all week and heading to Margoria a lot, fishing out in the great ocean can make a serious amount of money. Once set up, it can rival other life skills, but does require a lot of time and money to do so. I hope this shows you a new way to start earning money while fishing, or at least gives you an idea where to change where you normally fish. Whether you're just starting out fishing or wanting to make 
make more silver in Black Desert, taking a fishing trip out to Megoria might be your go-to method. Even if you're not going out there to fish, there are a lot of ways to make millions easily. I was surprised with just how much I originally made for doing this, and this time around it makes sailing out there worth my time. I'm sure with a faster ship, this is a breeze. Once I get my caravel, I will come back out here again to check. But if you want to see another way to level those life skills, or just want to see how to start making money in Black Desert Online, click this video here and be sure to subscribe to the channel turn on all of the notifications so you won't miss when the next episode of Life of Shy comes out where I'm going to be jumping back into alchemy.